Let me ask you about your approach to top-end taxation. Um, everybody wants to know wh how, where the top marginal rates are going to come out. You came out, I think, at 43% at your top rate. Sanders has gone higher, just over 50%. But you set that top rate at a very high level of income, I believe $5 million. Why so high? That, it, it looks like you set it so high so that, you could, so that nobody would accuse you of, of raising taxes on anybody who could be thought of as middle class, but you could have done that at $3 million too. Well, but I've got uh, several, uh, several proposals. Number one, I'd like to apply the Buffett rule um, on anybody at a million or more so that uh, we avoid what Warren Buffett rightly points out as the anomaly and the unfairness of, you know, he paying a lower tax rate than his secretary. And then I have a 4% surcharge on top of income at five million because I want to try to stop the gaming of the system. We're going after where we think the real money is, as we say, follow the money. And the tax system uh, has been, in my view, not uh, effective in capturing uh, money from people who are very successful and we need to do a better job. Fundamental tax reform is something that gets talked a lot about a lot on the other side, but also by some on your side. Ben Cardin, your former colleague in the Senate, has got a progressive consumption tax. A lot of uh, economists think consumption taxes, if you could shift the, the basis of the American tax system that way, would encourage savings and investment and produce more growth over the long run. You don't seem to have given much thought to, to that idea, or maybe you thought about it and rejected it. Tell me why. Well, look, I think it's important that we have a really robust debate about uh, corporate taxes. And um, we also entertain good ideas that come from people as long as they're on the progressive uh, side of the ledger. Because I think our progressive tax system was one of the real accomplishments of the United States. There's been a concerted effort to try to undermine it, to dismiss it, um, which I hear a lot from uh, the Republican candidates. So I'm open to ideas as long as they are progressive ideas and as long as they are uh, ones that will actually work in practice, not just on paper, and that we have a commitment uh, to paying for whatever we invest in. And that's why I've been really careful in saying, here's how I will pay for everything I've proposed. I believe the attitude of the Obama White House toward fundamental tax reform has been Sounds great, nice idea. In our current political alignment, it's just not happening and therefore it's not worth wasting a lot of time on. Is that also your view? Well, look, I hope we can win back the Senate. We have really great candidates running. If we have a Democratic Senate, then I think we have more leverage to have uh, a sensible discussion about uh, fundamental tax reform. Uh, there have been some Republicans who have worked with Democrats to come up with some plans over the last few years. You think you could work with Paul Ryan on fundamental tax reform? I would hope so. I would hope so. And look, I am open to working very hard on these key issues that we have to address as a nation, that being one of them. Um, so I'm not going to give up on it before we've even tried to do it. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Downey from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.